Hey everyone, welcome to Lady and the Fox, um, and welcome to our lovely awning. <laughs> um, we are going to talk to you today about what our plans are. So, um, as mentioned in the previous video, we're at uh, Gilwea, uh, here in Miles, and uh, yeah, we're just going to take you through a little bit about what we're going to be doing um, from now till August. So... Okay, well, we're in Gilweir at the moment in Miles. We finished our rental uh, two days ago. Um, handed back the keys yesterday, so this is day two. Uh, and we just wanted to stay in the in the area in case there was something we had to do for our bond and so forth like that, but everything went back uh, and went absolutely fine, not an issue whatsoever. So um, that was really good. But then again, we when we leave a house we leave it pretty damn spotless so it's hard for anyone to to pick <laughs> any spots. true i'm fussy <laughs> um so yeah gilwe is absolutely beautiful um if you haven't been here jump on <laughs> keep jump talking on google James. and and have a look because um do have a look and yeah some of the pictures and so forth a lot yeah. of people have posted pictures i'm sure there's pictures on free camp um groups in on Facebook and everything yeah, as well. Yeah, it's very peaceful. Yeah, we, ch we chose a spot away from the water. A lot of people love to be near the water, but we sp chose a spot that's uh, more through the bush, and we get pretty much sun all day here. But I will say, it has been freezing at night, only because the thing got down to minus three last night. Um, oh, the mattress because, story. Yeah, the mattress. <laughs> so when we first started, um, this was before we started. We were still sleeping in the van for about a week before we started. And we had a foam mattress. That was a fantastic furniture one. Thought we'd yep. do the budget started thing. off great. Yeah. Very then, nice and firm and solid. And then after a few nights sleep, it just got divots in a big time. We thought, oh, this isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. So we bought a mattress topper thinking, yes, that'll make it. Oh, better. no. We sunk no. in even further. It was like falling into, <laughs> it, it was like trying to sleep in marshmallows. Oh, that oh. sounds wonderful in theory. No. It's, it's uh, definitely not. It was like crawling through the depths of deep mud to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it was yeah. trying to suck you back in like quicksand every time. So we actually put the the topper on the underside underneath the mattress and that still didn't made it a little bit better yeah we still... could get out of bed easier but it just we were we were it was angled so so yeah we're sleeping like that every night it was just horrible. <laughs> not quite to that you, extent you, but you, you'd sleep on your side and you feel like you're you're sort of like <laughs> you know, rock climbing as you're trying to sleep but oh my god so anyway we we got an inner spring mattress which was one centimeter wider than what the space that we had oh, just trying and to get it in trying to get that into the car was a nightmare and yep. making the bed is a nightmare but it's a hundred percent more comfortable yeah oh the nice only, and firm and it's flat the only problem is now is that is 10 times colder yep than it, what the foam was it doesn't so, even warm up underneath you so, um, so this is a $300 mattress as well, so it wasn't the cheapest we could go, um, and it was the most expensive one we could get for um, aiming for, I think it was 20 centimetres high. Yeah, and this ended up, it said it was 20 centimetres high. But ended up being about 18. 18 and a half, roughly. So, so we wanted that bit of extra height as well, because otherwise with the other mattresses are about 21 centimetres. And you could feel the springs. Um, oh no, no no no! They were fabulous, but we wouldn't we would have been hitting our heads. Yeah. And then the ones that were a bit cheaper, we could feel the springs in them. Um, no, you, you've missed completely what I was going to say. So, <sighs> the foam, the foam and the topper was about twenty one centimeters, and every time you'd get up, you'd smack your head as well as being sucked into the marshmallows of the of the mattress. But this one, is I was about... talking about the mattresses quality. But anyway. Yes. I was talking about the height. Yeah, do you reckon we're going to survive van life together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, long, keep going, keep yeah, going. As long as I'm right, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> and if you're right, I'll always get the last word. Yes, dear. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, so um, so yeah, the height's good, everything, but we're we're trialling tonight. Will be the um, 
the quilt that we normally have on the top and put that underneath and see if that's any warmer. But we're going to get one of those um, sheepskin covers to put on the mattress to make it a bit yes, warmer. So. Great mattress, but it's ten times colder than what we yeah. had. But so underneath us, we're noticing that it's not even warming up. So you can lay in that one position literally all night, and it's not going to get warmer underneath you. And um, that's a huge problem. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so moving on to our plans, we're um, staying with a good friend tomorrow night. Because um, she wanted to see us before we go. We're actually are coming back to see her one more time. Um, we're doing some house sitting for some for some people looking after a couple of uh, French bulldogs yep. and their property and uh, yep, that's for two weeks yeah it's a two week gig and uh, then after that we've got about a week and a half um, where we're going to tour around and so forth but we've got to leave from here because our friend wants us to come and stay again <laughs> God yeah. bless her soul she doesn't want us to leave so she's trying everything she can yeah. to hang on to us we're, we're going to have a nice roast dinner yeah yes. we'll cook her a nice roast dinner rather. so and then um, after basically um, I'm not 100% sure where we're going to be during that week and a half but um, on the 19th um, I will be in Laidley um, at the uh, street Friday street markets there in Laidley down the main street. I'm not sure what location down there I'll be in. Um, I find out pretty much on the day, but on the 19th, the 26th, and the 2nd, you can catch me down there uh, where I'm going to be selling my resin art, making that little bit of extra cash. What's the name of your resin art? Um, okay, so my brand name is Maz Madness. Um, but my actual business name is MJ Craft Supplies, so most of you will know me as MJ Craft Supplies. Um, but I will be transitioning uh, once I um, update my name later towards the end of the year. It will be Maz Madness um, Handcrafted Creations, um, which is more along the lines of where my business is going now because I, do, I don't actually sell craft supplies anymore. And if you want to check out Mary's beautiful resin art which is really good by the way so yeah i mean it i'm is. biased but yeah, yeah <laughs> all the feedback has always been good um well mary will put the link below so you can yep. check that out too and if you want to inquire about house sitting we also have a uh, facebook page for that so um yep. mary will also put the link down there yes for that one also so in, the, in the comments or how, wherever you put it description whatever it is yeah so. i'll work it out yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we are house sitting um in the Laidley area um for two weeks as well which takes us into august um and then after that we're going to go meet a friend if all goes according to plan we'll be meeting a friend in coffs harbour um into august so uh and after that <laughs> We're yet to decide what we're going to do, so you're going to have to stay tuned so that you can... Any um, suggestions? Put, make yeah, some suggestions. Yeah, make some suggestions. Um, yeah, anywhere you've been that's quite good. That yeah. We don't want to go at a fast pace and drive here and drive there and drive there and drive there, but yeah, no, some this places is slow we paced. can make our way to places slowly, I guess. Yeah, so. I think we're looking at maybe only a couple of hours each time we're going to move that. around. If that. Yeah, if that. So... Um, you know, we're, we are doing it on a budget, so um, we're sort of happy to land ourselves at a free camping site and um, enjoy a couple of days there. And um, then, or whatever their limit is. Yeah, whatever the limit is, and then move on to the next one. So that's kind of the plans, isn't it? Yeah, and, and you'll, you'll see that we're in the same location. We want to try and get ahead in videos while we can. And then when we've got good Wi-Fi, we'll upload what we can for everyone. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right, so that's it for the moment. Yeah, like, subscribe, and yeah, check out the links in the yes in the um, description below, and uh, yep, and uh, hit so the notification bell. <laughs> and we will be sharing more um, videos and um, of different places around Australia once we start getting to more interesting locations. So, um, yeah. See you on the flip side. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone.